What's going on guys? Keegan, the editor-in-chief of rockstardreams.com, hanging out at the RSD HQ in San Francisco. I'm with my dudes from Battle Tapes. What's going on, fellas? Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, man, how you doing? Good, good, good. Other members down south, bass player, you guys decided to roll as a three-piece. The other bandmates uh, at Brick and Mortar, we are jamming tonight, kind of getting things set up. How's the tour been going so far? It's great, man. Had a great time last night in LA, home turf, so great turnout, great energy. It was really a lot of fun. Yeah, everybody came out, was really excited to see us. We haven't played in a minute, so it was a great show, fun. Very cool. Now you guys are in uh, SF for day two here, playing at Brick and Mortar tonight. Always a cool crowd there. Uh, probably one of my favorite, uh, more intimate music venues. Uh, kind of what's next for you guys after this stop? Uh, we're doing a, we've got two nights in San Francisco. Tomorrow night we're doing a DJ set. And then uh, we're heading up to Portland tomorrow, or day after tomorrow. And then uh, Eugene, Seattle. Vancouver, and that's the end of it. So we got time to kill in Seattle. If anybody wants to come out and you know hang, we're gonna have a few days there. <laughs> Good deal. Now, obviously, you guys are on tour in support of your upcoming EP that's releasing on June 9th called Form. Um, you got a single out called No Good. Uh, sick video. Uh -huh. um, just love the overall arrangement and song structure there. Um, kind of talk about your songwriting process and that collaboration in the studio. Um, it, it varies time to time. You know, it depends. On, you know, sometimes I'll come up with an idea, sometimes Riley will come up with an idea, we'll bring it into the studio and kind of like volley it back and forth. Or, you know, sometimes we'll just kind of work in our own little studios at home. And, you know, sometimes it's nice to work in solitude, just you can kind of flesh out ideas and try some things out. Other times it's great to work together and, you know, one thing can trigger another and you just come up with a cool song. That's kind of the case with No Good, where it started off as like a slower kind of jam, almost a Depeche Mode sounding kind of song. And then I kind of I kind of got stuck on it and I threw it over to Riley like, yo man, can you do some of this? I, I'm stuck and he threw something back. I was like, holy shit, this sounds amazing. So, and then it's kind of snowballed from there and turned into this really rad song. I dig it. We agree. Uh, definitely rad. Um, you guys obviously got been on been on the road for a few years now, formed in 2010. So we're all about sharing rad backstories here at Rockstar Dream. So we'd love to kind of hear how this collaboration came together and how you guys formed this project. Oh uh, yeah. It started, you know, as kind of like a, a, a passion project where we were just kind of writing songs, you know, outside of our day jobs. Riley and I both worked as engineers and uh, and programmers for different artists and producers and stuff in L.A. And we met through a mutual friend, started writing songs, kind of put a little band together. And it was just start off in rehearsals. We had some friends come listen, made a couple demos. People started liking it. We booked a show. People started coming out. More people started coming out. I think really the thing that put us on the map was um, getting in Grand Theft Auto V, which was kind of just out of nowhere. We just got an email from Rockstar one day asking if they could use our song in their game. It's like, yeah, absolutely, of course. And then it just, everything's just kind of like been like stumbling through the dark kind of all the way through. But it's been great. That's cool. I love hearing those stories too, where it's just kind of organic. You're jamming with your buddies. You, you're just making music because it's what you love to do, yeah. not knowing where it's going to go. And then it just naturally evolves. and. You know, if you write good songs, your fan base is going to kick in and people are going to identify with it. You know, we, we certainly did when we heard uh, No Good for the first time and uh, some of your tracks off of uh, your previous EPs. Yeah, thanks, um, man. So we know we, uh, you know, you guys are obviously spending some time here in the city. Got any uh, collaborations you can touch on? Or uh, I want to say you guys uh, did a sick uh, single lead recently with, uh, was it Party Nails? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a good friend of ours, Alana, a.k.a. Party Nails. We met through a friend of a friend, kind of just through the L.A. scene. And... Uh, she came in the studio one day, we kind of had the track kind of bubbling already and we were just like, hey, let's just see where we can take this. And she brought a new vocal to it and just kind of turned, flipped the song on its head. And it, was it was actually really lucky because it was a track that we were kind of like stuck on we didn't know, we were, we were going to throw it away. Yeah. And then uh, we got together with Alana and just kind of like, wow, yeah, this is working. And so yeah. it turned into a great song. She just has an amazing voice too, like just the energy and like vibe she brought to the track was just on the money, you know. So yeah, that was our first real like collaborate little cur collaboration, collaboration, <laughs> collaboration. <laughs> no ads, collaboration uh, with someone. And you know, we always try to make it a very organic thing. It's just got to be honest, an honest gesture for us. You know, what I mean, we don't like to just like hold up in a studio with someone we don't genuinely like. You know, we want to make sure we we're putting out something that we like as well. You know, so yeah, working with her was great. And we got some people on on our mind to work with for the next phase of things uh, as far as form the new EP is all just us on this one but we we're thinking of the next one doing a lot more collaboration with people and just seeing where we can take it 
Very cool. Now you guys are obviously very sick. Heavy, you know, you got a lot of electronic background, pop influences in there. Um, are you guys kind of veering off and experimenting a little more on this uh, next record, or kind of staying apart for the course and you know, really trying to fine tune your sound? Uh, we didn't want to veer too far away from, you know, our sound that you know our fans are used to, but we wanted to have an evolution, uh, which is something that's really important to us that we evolve over time and kind of. Uh, expand our own creativity uh, but we did I think with this this new record this new EP we kind of ended up uh, how did you put it nuance yeah, yeah a bit of a sh just a yeah. slight shift to the left a little bit and just trying to explore I don't know the next phase of things you know and and challenging ourselves and I think one of the things we set up to do was we thought about synthesizers or things in pop music in general we don't like you're like oh I hate that thing I'll never use that thing like let's use that thing and just try to make it our own and like that's how I hit records happen. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. know we we wanted to challenge ourselves and put ourselves in an uncomfortable position and mold it, form it to our liking, you know, to us, as opposed to what we've always heard it as. Very cool. We also have a little bit of a saying, what would Mark Knopfler do? <laughs> 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 it, you know, it guides us through our through our songwriting process. Nice. Yeah, so you guys have uh, bands made up with uh his, his initials and the yeah. acronym man to keep, yeah. keep you on top? Yeah, MK. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Yeah, literally, we were listening to, to uh, Brothers in Arms all the way up here today. You're like, God, this record's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. It's so good. And it's like, it's, I mean, it's so like pure 80s, but it sounds so good. And like, that guy's amazing. You, you know, like, the band sounds great. Crazy synth sounds on that record. But, uh, you know, it's like a country light pop record. I don't even know. It's like it. some bluesy section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some so. country. Yeah, it's and there's like mad tasty guitar licks all the way through. That dude just shreds, you know what I mean? He's, he's a legend. So, yeah, half joking but half serious about the Mark Knopfler thing. <laughs> yeah, I dig it. I think our audience will too. Uh, shout out to all the New Wave forefathers. Uh, R.I.P. David Bowie. Um, one thing I gave you guys are doing some really cool remixes as well. Phantogram is one of my favorite oh, yeah. electronic groups. Uh, when they formed uh, Big Grams, actually, the Big Boy, yeah. they debuted at Treasure Island Music Festival here oh, awesome. uh, as a group a couple years ago. So that was really cool. Um, dig your guys' take uh, on that song and, and what you did there. Kind of how fun was that? We were just throwing down the turntables, mixing in the studio, just kind of playing with different sounds. Yeah, it was cool. The, you know, like the. The thing is about that, that track, there were so many cool little elements once we got the multi-tracks and kind of were breaking it down. And so many things to kind of bring to the forefront that, you know, were maybe a little ear candy in their version, in the, you know, the real version. And just, it was kind of fun to bring some of those cool elements up and build around that. But I think we also wanted to kind of, they always have like a cool like East Coast 90s hip hop vibe. And I think we wanted to accentuate that song. So it kind of broke out some of the old gear that they made on like, you know, MPC, mini mode all that kind of stuff and brought that in and tried to lean on that like hip-hop vibe a little more. We're feeling into it. Uh, myself and my uh, my security guard miniature pincher that's locked in the room right now. We're, we're vibing and dancing to it before you guys nice. came in. I turned it off. I didn't want to make it awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, fellas, thanks for your time. We wish you the oh, best of luck man. on the road. Uh, guys, be on the lookout for that upcoming EP, No Good. You can find it streaming on Spotify, available on iTunes, coming out June 9th. Follow these guys on Twitter and Instagram at BattleTapesBand. Thanks for watching rockstardreams.com.